Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do rotations and that teak is 8.10 C. So um, just like whenever we were doing the reflections, um, a rotation is pretty much where you just take a shape and you rotate it along the along a certain point of rotation. So in this case, they're using the origin and they're taking it and they're rotating it around. Now you could do this, in this case, it's going counterclockwise, but you can also do it clockwise. So let me show you how to work out problems that are like this. Um, so in this particular problem that I have here, it says triangle ABC is labeled on your graph below. It says, what is the rule for a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation? So they wanna know what is the rule for a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Now, in class, we talked about the anchor chart that we have and it is labeled um, rotations. So that chart looks something like this. So it says CC, C, and rule. Now, CC stands for counterclockwise, C stands for clockwise, and then here's just the rule. So we were filling this in 270, 180, 90. This rule right in the middle was just negative x comma negative y. This rule here, the y is negative and it switches. And then here it switches again, but now the x is negative. Okay, this is all I need to answer all three of these problems and any sort of problem that says counterclockwise, clockwise, rotation, or anything like that. So for the rule for a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, I'm going to look at counterclockwise. I'm going to look at 90 and I'm going to go straight across. So this is my rule for counterclockwise rotation of 90 degrees. So remember that your rules always start off like this. So now I'm just going to copy this here. Negative Y comma X. There, I got my answer. Nothing else needs to be done because all they're asking me for is a rule. Um, here they're asking me for the rule of a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. So again, I'm looking at counterclockwise, 180, and here's my rule. So x comma y, your arrow, negative x comma negative y. You're done, that's your answer. Here they're asking for the rule of a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So here I'm going clockwise, I'm looking at 90 degrees, and I'm going across this way x comma y, y comma negative x, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, now later on, if, they're, if they ask you, for example, to rotate one of these points, um, I am going to do it using this point C. So point C is currently at 2, comma zero. Okay, so let's say that they want us to do this. Um, C is at two comma zero, and they want us to rotate it like this. So first of all, X and Y are gonna switch. And I would put a negative here because that has a negative but because zero is zero, it has no positive or negative, I'm not gonna change that. Um, so that new point, C prime, would be at zero comma two, which would be here. Now, I'm gonna try that with a different point because it doesn't really work so well when you're doing it with that one. So I'm gonna try this point here. That point is at positive one comma four, positive one comma four. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna write it right on top. A is at positive one, positive four. 
Now I'm going to switch their spots. So the four is going to come in front and now the one is in the back. And then I'm going to add a negative to this number four. So a prime is now at negative one. I mean, sorry, negative four comma one. So I'm going to go negative four, one, two, three, four, positive one. Here is a prime. Okay. So it rotated this way. It went like that. Okay. That is a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. It's only one turn. Um, I'm going to use the same A point here. A, so 1, comma 4. And notice how X and Y, they don't switch spots. They still stay in the same spot. The only difference is that now I'm going to put a negative in front of these. So I'm going to label this A prime prime because this is my second time that I've turned it. So negative 1, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. A double prime. And this is when I've turned it once and then twice. So that is what 180 degree rotation looks like. Um, and then finally, I am going to do it with the 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So still using the same point, one comma four. This is gonna be triple prime. The X and the Y switch. And now this one is the one that you need to switch to either, if it's positive, make it negative. If it's negative, make it positive. So now I'm going to plot this point. So that is at 4, comma, negative 1. That is A triple prime. And that is when I've rotated one time count clockwise. But like I said, you don't need to do any of this other stuff. All you have to do is do your chart and make sure you annotate correctly and you'll have the answer.